I'm Ian Pye. I am the owner of Old Holly Farm and the farmer here. Um, we're an organic dairy farm. We've got about 110 milking cows. My name's Paul Meeklejenny. I've been working directly in coffee now for about 19 years. We roast um, high-end Arabica coffees. We're here today. We've brought Paul on from Coffee Community, a part of UK Coffee Week uh, that are working in conjunction with Arla. And we're just showing Paul about where one of his ingredients comes from, which is milk. And I'm quite proud of producing quality milk, but obviously it takes a bit more effort than just cow grass milk. That's it. There's quite a lot of fine tuning that goes into that. So I'm hoping I can show Paul and then Paul might be able to show me a decent cup of coffee later on, which I'm sure he will be able to. It's been great for Ian to, to show us around it. And it really shows how, you know, on a day like today, it, it's not the easiest job in the world. Uh, and it's very interesting to sort of see right from the managing of the, of the grass side. You know, obviously it's so much about the cow's diet uh, that then goes into to making the great milk. I mean, when you get into the, the science of how things foam, things like the, the protein levels, fat levels and things like that are, are really important. So I was really interested in talking to Ian about how that diet's managed and how he's you know, really detailed uh, in his awareness of, of, of what's happening with the proteins, what's happening with the, the fat levels and, and the quality of the milk he's, he's producing. With being an organic farmer, you have to be very much in tune with the environment. So in summertime, the cows go out. In wintertime, and it's snowing like today, the cows come in. Today, I think we'll try and keep warm with a nice cup of coffee, because it is cold. Coffee is uh, from all over the world, uh, different species, varieties, different origins, different processing methods, uh, all go to give different sort of flavors. So what we do with the beans uh, really denotes the final flavour here really. But they're in the, in the roaster, it's like a big tumble dryer that's just whirling around, cooking the beans nice and evenly and they go from that green stage, they lose about 12% moisture at the chimney and they'll go to a light brown sort of stage like this. We've seen the beans, they then get roasted and great espresso then gets added to your milk uh, for, for your whole range of drinks. So it's over to you now. Right. Um, so you've got all these great ingredients and I'm about to ruin them this yeah, time. You, you've told me everything you know about milk this morning. I've, I've done the same. There you go. And there's your first bit of latte art. More of a Jackson Pollock design. That's but, full, uh, That's it's, full it's, it's... design, isn't it? Well, it's quite nice that somebody's put in as much love and effort into an ingredient that's going into the cup as what I'm putting as much love and effort into the cup. Um, and hopefully that's reflected in the, you know, the end product. <laughs>